You know, I want to refer back to a verse in the Bible. I'm not religious, but I'm very spiritual. I've done meditation for over 30 odd years. Standing, seated, moving. You name it. I've been initiated in numerous different disciplines. I always go back to the Bible though. I always go back to Christianity because Christianity is a heart religion. It's a religion of empowerment. That's what I like about it. It's very people. You know, where the rubber meets the road. It grounds you. Have some basic principle in there. Love, forgiveness, honor, integrity. See the other religions like Buddhism and what have you. Some say they're not religion, but in the sense of the word, they're pretty much a religion. They're very heady, you know, because the Buddha, all the Buddhism were very intellectuals because they were aristocrats. They were somewhat priests, you know, and come from a lineage of masters. But Jesus, Yahshua, whatever name you choose to give him, was an ordinary man. It's the beauty of him. And he wouldn't take no shit. He empowered people. He empowered people because he was a people person. He loved people. He loved the human race. And it wasn't a heady affair for him. He was very grounding, very human. Tells me he was very humane. He came from the heart. He was willing to get into the mix. He was willing to get in there and get his hands dirty. That's why he could communicate with anyone. The elite and the poorest person. Get no more humane than that, does it? He wasn't dodgy. Even some verses or some mantra to do. He said, no kingdom of heaven is within you. You have to search outside of yourself for it. Powerfully? That's empowerment, isn't it? That's what this whole thing is about. Empowerment. Not taking away your power. Not taking away your gun. Giving you power. Allowing you to be the human being, the best human being you can be. That's what I'm getting from this whole charade of Trump and the Democrats and the Republican and this and that and blah, 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 blah. everybody is screaming and yelling and all you have to do is just take the scale from your eyes what are these scales you know your personal preferences your guilt your shame your past mistakes all of it it's all a part of life but they harden around you like concrete, like big shells, you know? Encases you and it covers you over. And it limits your perception. Cuts away at your humanness. Box you in. Your complaints about society or the way you've been treated. All of this stuff. These are scales. These hold you back. Good. You know, they're like balls and chains around your consciousness. They limit your human experience and severely curtail your ability to expand and grow as a human being. In the, in the end, none of this really matters. At the end of the day, on your deathbed, what does all that shit really matter? Right? It's how you live your life. But I want to refer to a verse in the Bible. I don't know the verse. I don't know the scripture, but I remember it because my grandmother often referred to it. My grandmother was very religious, but my grandfather wasn't. He loved his ganja, his whiskey, and his tobacco, you know. But anyway, um, notwithstanding, uh, she always referred to a, uh, a verse in the Bible, and I hear it scantily. I don't remember where it's from. I think it's in New Testament where it says two will be in the bed. One will be taken out. One will just be left there. Two will be walking. One will be taken away. 
Some will be in the field, at work, in your office. Some will be taken up. I wonder, what is this all about? This is rapture, but what is this rapture? And I've come to realize this whole thing is about person being informed. You see, when you have information, then you come to realize that information is freedom. Knowledge is power. Know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Man, know thyself. Information and knowledge, once you have those, you get the information, you have the knowledge of how to negotiate through, through the information that you get. You just have to navigate it, the terrain of your, inf your information body. Guess what happened? Just elevate you to a whole different level now, don't you? At least one thing it does, it gets you out of the confusion. That's been taken up. Now you're riding above the fray. Now you can fly. Have you noticed that right now, people that you've known for years, you know, friends, loved ones, family, members, and what have you, this whole Trump affair, this whole election, where with all this information available and both politicians, it's right there in front of you, but only some people can see it. But, but here is the problem, the conflict. All, a lot of people that, that I know, very intelligent people, well-educated, well well I wouldn't say intelligent, well-educated, you know, in different fields of studies, man. Some are even professors, scientists. And um, I am flabbergasted, lost for words. I, I, I'm talking right now, and I don't even know to sufficiently quantify and explain this phenomena that these people cannot see the truth is very frustrating makes you want to kick them in their heads you know like grab them and shake them can you not see for God's sake man can you not see the truth it's right here I don't know if it's just me but I'm, this is the information right in front of me man I can see it can't you read it it's in print there's a ground for it there can't you see what they're doing they can't Something is blocking them. You know what this does? This whole thing sets your mind in a circular spiral. You know, you start having circular conversations with yourself. These are supposed to be well-learned and educated people. How can they not know this? This is basic knowledge. Why is it, why is it that they cannot see? It? After all, they're educated. Just because you're educated, though, don't make you intelligent. See, intelligence comes from God. We're all born with it. Everybody's intelligent. And whether or not you use it is something totally different now, doesn't it? You see, if you get hung up on all this other stuff outside of you, you cannot focus on the light of God inside of you to break the seal of your unknowingness. You rise above the clouds of your misconception and find what truth is and no real truth. You know, you know, this whole phenomenon that's caused by Trump, not by Trump, but the divine intelligence, that is God working through Trump. Trump is just a person, but there's an energy moving through him that is bigger than him. That's what I see. And he's just going along. He has to go along with the program because he has no choice, because he's been chosen to do this. And he's creating... A lot of conflict in people's mind because you hate the guy so much you can't see the truth around him. This is amazing. This is amazing. And it's creating a lot of rift with people. A lot of conflict. And here's the thing. I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to try to Help anyone through the maze because they'll pull you down. Just have to leave them to 
believe what they want to believe because at the end of the day politics is not a belief system that's what people don't know politics the politician is going to use tricks if he can show you all these different hands and you watch all these different hands you'll never see what he's doing see very camouflage you know hidden behind closed door shit that's why they don't like Trump because he came out and just started talking talking normally this is a phenomenon people the president is tweeting they don't like him tweeting he has his first amendment right he can tweet whenever the fuck he wants see they don't like him tweeting it's just not filtered it's going straight to the people which is what's supposed to happen in a republic democracy or constitutional republic you see these rays up here these are cosmic rays hitting the ground they're saying that the sunspot is gone, has gone down to a low count and when it does the magnetic field of the earth get uh, compromised and then you have you know we get inundated with uh, cosmic rays we change our DNA but to me the cosmic rays is God's light coming through hitting the ground hitting the earth and it's changing everything to the subatomical sub level and whether you want to see the truth or not, it doesn't matter because it's happening. And those who submit to knowing will be taken out of this confusion. Yes, you're going to be taken out of this confusion, this crab in the barrel of confusion. And lifted up way up into the light of knowing. You're going to get that flow, that constant consciousness flow. Yeah, it's going to be so familiar. It's going to feel real cozy. You're going to have a glow around you, see. And when people talk all this shit, you just look at them and smile. Light yourself a cigar and get yourself a beer. Do you people really, does anybody honestly believe the time we're in, 2020, do you all really believe this is this election is about voting? Do you really think it's about politics? You're grossly mistaken, my friend. This is about good and bad, darkness and light. There's a conflict going on, and whatever you do this time will determine where we go from here. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you should vote for this, or, and I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go over it and talk about the the accomplishment of uh, President Trump because that's not my job to tell you. You have to do your own fucking research, okay? Don't talk about, you know, name source. I'm not naming a fucking thing. That's what pissed me off when people put their video. People like, you got to name this source. You got to name. Well, I'm not. Give us this website. I'm not doing none of that. Go do your own fucking research. It's not hard to find. Take the scales from your eyes. Stop being so fucking lazy. Pisses me off sometimes. This is about where we go from here will determine the human race. You see, so America go. So the rest of the world. You Americans don't understand your responsibility. It's not a rebuke. America's been a great nation, but sometimes you take your responsibility a little willy-nilly. And you get... Look. Let me put it this very simple. If they can take your America down, they're going to take down the rest of the world. And I believe strongly that the only person standing in the way right now is Trump. We have an old saying back home in Jamaica. When America cough, we catch the flu. You understand what's going on now? When America cough, the rest of the world catch a fucking cold. America cough, and if America get pneumonia, hey, cancel Christmas, motherfuckers. So don't take you, um, you, you don't be willy nilly. We don't. <laughs> this time you gotta really take what you do with responsibility to the human race. Yeah, I don't want to be responsible to the human race. Uh, yeah, it's a hard job. Somebody gotta do it, and you got it. 
use it carefully this time. That's all I'm saying. And if you're using it, you got to know. For those that have power. Yes, my friends. Great power comes with great responsibility. And you know this. America is the leader of the world. So you've been thrust into it. Whether you like it or not, you're going to have to deal with it. Please don't fuck this one up.